Place the hood over your head, seal the All right, so the purpose of patrol lanes today is to grade the candidates on what they've learned the past two weeks in that area uh, for everything they might expect to encounter during a patrol. It's, it's something personal for me because my uh, great uncle earned his EIB in World War II, so, you know, I was never eligible to do it until they came out with the ESB, so. Um, as soon as they came out with that, I went ahead and did it. Uh, so it was more of like a family history for me. So for the soldiers, what it means for them when they come out here for ESB is uh, they've been put to the test. They've shown that they can uh, perform under stress, under duress, and that they got what it takes to uh, come out here and succeed. It's important for me because it shows my soldiers that I can be out here doing the same thing that they do every day um, and that everybody, regardless of you being an officer or enlisted, can do these basic soldier tasks. Honestly, it excites me because a lot of these uh, skills are relatively new for me and just to be able to use them again, um, like it wasn't a one-off to like learn how to do a call for fire mission, now I can do it again with a uh, right here in ESB because it has nothing to do really with my MOS, but it's nice to know that I can keep my skills sharp. The purpose of patrol lanes during EIB is to test the individual skills of soldiers, i.e. the, uh, the range card, movement under contact, nods, camouflage, we have 10 different lanes they test on during the IB for patrols. To me, it was a personal goal, you know, to achieve that as a private. Um, I mean, we still have people going through as master sergeants and it's just one of their lifelong goals. They, maybe they don't have time, but they're doing it now. You know, it's just one of those things that, it develops you as a person, develops you as a soldier pushes your limits. Time management, words, words of encouragement to soldiers read time management. You know, don't, don't doubt yourself. Train, use the train up the weeks to, to get in and practice your, and hone your skills. But once it comes to testing, don't, don't think on it too much. Get in, refresh your memory, do that muscle memory stuff, and then get in there and, and test out. The easiest thing to do is, is jump in it and test, don't wait.